Hello, welcome to this short video where we're going to look at how we can raise a sales order in SAP Business by Design. Okay, so now we are logged into the system, we need to navigate to the sales orders work center on the left hand side. And then under common tasks, we've got our new sales order here. So we'll click on that. First, need to populate our account name. So this would be our customer. So we can start typing, or we can use this look up here. And we are going to sell to In Cloud Solutions. So as you'll notice, some of the information has pulled through, and this is from the customer record. However, there are some fields that you will need to populate. For example, this sales unit here. So a sales unit is where the revenue has been generated. So we'll click on this here and we'll click on our sales unit. So there are some other fields that you can populate here, such as the description. So this would be a header level description for the sales order. Or for example, you can add in a external reference that the customer may want you to um, and it will populate on the sales order. So next we need to add some items. So come down here to this item section and then click add row. So see you've got a new line created here. And what we're gonna be selling today is some software licenses. So on this occasion I will type. And as you can see, we've got our type ahead functionality here. So software license has already come up. So we'll click on that. As you can see, it's brought through to the description for us. And we just need to enter the quantity. So we're gonna be selling 50 of those today. And then at the bottom, you'll notice there's a little error um, that says that we haven't got a man mandatory list price for this. Um, so we just need to populate that. So we're gonna say it's gonna be 49.99. So now, if you wanted to add more rows, you could do this, you could click on add row add as many as you want to the sales order. If not required, just obviously remove. And then what we can do now is submit this sales order for approval. So up top left hand side, you've got a submit button. So submit and then we will need to choose release order. And as you can see, we've got a successful sales order got a sales order number 1305 and a note there that's saying that the sales order has been submitted into approval.